Hello, I am Rahish. Today I am discussing about the history of space exploration. World Space Week is starting today. International community is celebrating Space Week from 4th October to 10th October. Since the dawn of mankind, humans have seen the sky in wonder, asking questions such as how big is the universe and most important questions, are we alone? The curiosity of man led to the developments of spacecrafts and huge rockets as the time passed and subsequently the ape man became the spaceman. When humans looked up and saw a wonderful place with countless stars twinkling in the night sky, people connected the stars with imaginary lines and made animal or animal-like patterns which today we know as constellations. Sky has always guided humans since the ancient times. People looked up, see the correct star and if they know in which direction the star is, they can easily know where they have to go. This is why we call the stars the oldest maps. People also measured years, months, weeks, days, hours, minutes and even seconds with the movement of sun, moon, planets and most importantly stars. When civilizations were formed and people started huge wars against their opponents, the military was having the most developed machinery at the time. In China, the rockets which we use as fireworks were used as weapons. Those Chinese rockets which were used in warfare were also used by a Chinese called Wan Hu. He made a spacecraft. His spacecraft was just a simple chair with 47 rockets attached to it and a kite on top. Wan Hu was sitting on that chair. He said that he will go to space. On his order, 47 officers lit those 47 rockets simultaneously and after that, no one saw him again. Inspired by such rockets, an Indian emperor of Mysore, Tipu Sultan, further developed these rockets and used them in the war against the British. These rockets were world's first iron cast rockets. These were the most powerful and the most developed rockets at the time. Hence, India was the leading nation in rocket technology. But when the British rule started in India, this very significant part in rocketry was forgotten in history. The British sent Tipu Sultan's rockets to Britain, where on the basis of those rockets, new rockets were built for the British military, which were used by the British in their war against the French. But all of these rockets were solid fueled. They were good enough for attack, but not capable of carrying large payloads. They are uncontrollable and also very inefficient with a very low specific impulse. So, in 1903, a Russian scientist known as Konstantin Tsiolkovsky established the theory of a liquid rocket engine. But it was so complex that no one could test his theory and also use it. The rest will be discussed in part 2, link for which is in the description. Thanks for watching my video.